Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. to the left he's got his tight end Knox and he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46 yard line and what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do how about how he worked his way to the outside made sure he secured the catch and then anything after that we count that as a bonus and indeed he gets enough for the first down and he's going to lose a yard or two taken down by the line Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. After the sack, here's second and 11. To the air, Allen. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. I think maybe that tuck will be Makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. Allen going to go on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and ten on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 38 yards. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving, they're fired up. And it carries over to the other side of the ball. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Chris taken in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. 
So the shotgun snap to Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Now Allen again. They'll roll him out right. He's got it at the 15. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Operating from the red zone now. Allen. And he'll just get rid of it. This is where good coaching and execution come into play because down this close, you absolutely don't want to turn it over. Good job keeping that in mind as he escaped, bought time, and decided throwing it away was his best option. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. This one caught by Crowder. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Touchdown, Bills. Jamison Crowder from four yards out. And the Bills are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because... We don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Second and ten. Hurts looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Throwing is Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Hurts finding Goddard there, first down, Philadelphia. to throw again. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Uh, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. These two teams all tied after one. Let's go now. Second and two. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
They'll send the tight end in motion left. Right back to Sanders on first down. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, was the one disrupting there defensively. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. Now on second and 13, Hurts. This is caught. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two is not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. From the two now, second and goal. again and good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here it's third and goal well they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play stopped after a very short gain but i wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very very difficult for him in that situation Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. This Buffalo defense has stood their ground. This is third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And this time he is in. Yes. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Eagles have moved out in front. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. come to the line to start their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had Stephon Diggs pass the 20 and all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs 75 yards and the Bills are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation, knowing when it exists 
to go to it. They did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly hey, offense set to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Sets up to throw it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. And when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Throwing again on second and ten. Allen, and this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Throwing is Allen on third. Going deep for Diggs. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far as they have taken the lead. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And that went into the hands of Brown downfield. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. Hurts. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route. You are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Right there, right there, hurt. To throw once more on second and ten. Hurts. Open man. That's Devontae Smith. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. But first down, Hurts. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Touchdown, Eagles! A.J. Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Elliott now to have the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll have 50 seconds to work with, so that really plenty of time to try to put something together. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. To throw on second and 10, Allen. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bottling him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Allen going to throw. Crowder. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. And 
Again, it's Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this. Or keeps hitting the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Allen. On the catch, it's Crowder. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And that will do it for this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. He was solid on the field goal, but not as solid on the kickoff there. And that'll put him at the 40-yard line to start this drive. in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Here's Hurts to throw. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And this is caught by Watkins. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Let's go. 
Here's Sanders. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Now a carry for Sanders. And a short gain down to about the 33. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Looking to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began to play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have retaken a third quarter lead. And that third counter there gives them the lead. And it's obvious they've needed everything that he's given them today. The three touchdowns, that's impressive. But without them, they're not winning this game. Elliott on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Allen now looks to throw. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. To throw again on second down. Allen going deep for Diggs. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback who just threw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is, you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game tell all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. 
You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The last run got a couple. here, second and eight. Back to throw here. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And this offense on third down today, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and three. Throw. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are right back in this football game. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth quarter lead. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From midfield, here's Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. From the 30 on second down, Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here of what could be their final drive. 56, 56. First down, here's the run with Cook. Fights through him. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick the play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. They run here with Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Bass, up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly miss hit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. Back to throw. 
This is Smith with a grab. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll look to throw. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And just a yard to go here on second down. He's back to throw. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? Yeah, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. He'll look to throw. And one more time, that's Watkins. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. with a touchdown and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal they'll run with Sanders and he gets halfway there down to the one yard line now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts that'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play good work there holding them out on first down and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Once again with Sanders. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead. And also, Charles didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win. But they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. For the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. He right, forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to hang on on the final play to get the Bye, pussies.